Okay, guys, so for the past couple of days, we've talked about special line segments, we've talked about their points of concurrency, and we've talked about their properties. So today, we are actually going to find the point, the x and y value of that point of concurrency. So if I'm giving you a circumcenter, we know that his special line segment is a perpendicular bisector. And I'm going to give you the points of the vertices of the triangle. 4, 1, 12, 5, and 2, 5. So at this point, get some paper and work this problem step by step with me. These notes are also posted online for you. Your first step is going to find the midpoints of each side. So guys, what we're actually finding between A and B is point D, between B and C is point E, and between C and A is point F. That's the midpoint because we know a perpendicular bisector is going to be the midpoint of the sides. Then we're going to find the slope of each side, and we're going to change it to a perpendicular slope. So the slope of AB was 1 half, which makes this perpendicular slope a negative 2. Slope of BC was 0, which makes his perpendicular slope undefined. We know that means a vertical line. Then the perpendic uh, excuse me, the slope of AC is negative 2, meaning his perpendicular slope will be 1 half. Now you're going to take those slopes and those midpoints and you're going to write an equation using midpoint and perpendicular slope. So guys, use your y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So we're going to plug in our midpoint and our perpendicular slope, y minus 3 equals negative 2 times x minus 8, and get your equation into slope-intercept form. Now at any point in this video, if you need to stop and go back to see where I'm getting a particular number from, by all means, please do so. Here, if we have a perpendicular slope that's undefined, we know that's a vertical line, so he's going to be going through the x of my midpoint. And then here, we have a midpoint of 3, 3 and a perpendicular slope of 1 half. And plug it in and we get an equation of y equals 1 half x plus 3 halves. Now guys, you have found three equations. You only need two of them for your systems because step four is use systems of equations. Any two equations. Guys, if you already know an x value, pick one of these and plug it in. My guess is most people will go with the one without fractions. Negative 2 times 7 plus 19, we get 5. So therefore, your circumcenter would be 7, 5. Guys, you can check to see if this works. y equals 5, plug in your x, they should equal. And I just went right back up here to my equations. Okay? Now if I give you a centroid, a centroid, That means that your special line segment is a median, so from a vertex to the opposite midpoint. From the vertex to the opposite midpoint. That would be your median. So again, I'm giving you the vertices of the triangle. You're going to use those, so AB, his midpoint would be D. BC, his midpoint would be E. And AC, his midpoint would be F. Second step, find the slope, so just like before. But this time, guys, we're going to find the slope of AE because we want the slope of our special line segment. So here we get a slope of 0. Here we get a slope of negative 2. And here we get a slope of positive 1. And we're going to use the slope and either the vertex or the midpoint. Either the vertex or the midpoint. So here I'm using the vertex and its slope and plugging it in to get y equals 4. Here I'm using the vertex and its slope to get y equals negative 2x plus 16. Here I'm using the vertex and his slope to get y equals x minus 2. Just like before, your fourth step is using a system. Pick any two equations. I'm going to always use the one, if I have a variable already defined, I'm going to use that equation, and then the simplest of the ones that I found. Just like with um, a circumcenter, you can check to see does your centroid actually work. 
So guys, this is what we're doing. We're finding the X and the Y value to see what your actual centroid point is. This is just an, an additional example. Good morning, Kingland. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag 